Good morning, everyone. How are we all doing? Savannah's really tired. <laughs> I'm really tired, but I'm very excited to stream this morning. I'm just, I'm just still waking up, so you guys are going to have to help me. Help me wake up and uh, get in the building mood and mindset. Uh, Phoenix, good morning. Biologist TP. Uh, Dhruv is here. Leaf, hello. How you doing? I've been loving your Sugar Pine Zoo, by the way, Leaf. I have been keeping up on all the episodes, even if I haven't been leaving a comment on everyone. I try, but I, I really do like it. I'm enjoying it. Silver Fox, hello. Thanks for being here. I, uh, I fixed my inputs on my... What do you even call those scenes on OBS? So you can hear me this time. If you hear last week, I set up a new uh, new scene and I forgot to add, you know, me, my voice to it. <laughs> but it's all it's all there now. Hello, Jananas, Isabel, uh, Sam, Maja, is that how you say that? Alex, uh, Tom, hello, Drew, hello. <laughs> wake up. That's right. I need to wake up. It's like, it's 9 a.m. for me. There's no reason for me to be so, so sleepy. Hey, thanks for the sub. Really appreciate that. Look at that. I got my alerts back and everything. I'm a professional streamer. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> You're in the UK. That means it's like five or six o'clock at night for you. It's like dinner time, right? Because I know I have a couple people that tell me all the time, like, you stream while I'm eating dinner. You know, perfect. You're sleepy today too, Brittany. I saw you can watch the stream in peace, can't you? Because the, the children are taken uh, away <laughs> so that they don't have to bother you. That's fantastic. Hello, good morning, Luz, Jacob. How are you? How was camping? Sam, thank you for asking. Um, if you missed it, camping was fantastic. Uh, but unfortunately, the second day that we were there, <sighs> the weather turned and it started to rain. And I am all for, like, actually, I've camped in the rain a bunch and I, I have enjoyed it. But we weren't expecting the rain, so we weren't prepared for the rain. We didn't have the rain fly for the tent. We didn't have any rain-proof clothes or anything like that. So it would have just been, it would have been miserable. Um, and on top of that, the wind got so bad that our uh, camping stove wouldn't uh, stay lit. So we couldn't cook. So essentially we couldn't cook anything. Uh, we'd have to stay hunkered down in the tent because we couldn't have a campfire outside since the rain. It just, it would have been not a lot of fun. And this camping trip was supposed to be relaxing. I wanted to lay in my hammock and read my book and go on a hike and play frisbee golf and all that kind of stuff. And that just wasn't going to happen in the rain. So we decided to pack everything up uh, before the rain hit. It was like really ominous too, because we could see up on the mountainside uh, just outside of our camp. Uh, campground, we could see the rain clouds like looming over us. <laughs> it was like this ticking time bomb of packing up, uh, breaking down camp and uh, putting everything away before the rain actually hit. But it was it was still nice. We stayed one night, um, still nice to get away. So that was uh, that was good. Bad weather for camping turned into making this stream possible this morning. Yeah, so <laughs> turning a positive from a negative. Absolutely, yeah. So the reason I'm able to stream today is because we came home yesterday. So not the end of the world, right? I get to hang out and talk with you guys. Um, let's make sure we can hear some music. Yes, I know you guys can hear me because you're you're chatting with me, but make sure we can hear the music. Uh, we're in Socorro Zoo today, if you guys didn't know. Socorro Zoo, Sandbox Zoo. It's one of my favorite projects, but I feel like it's kind of been neglected recently. So we're in Socorro Zoo, and I wanted to finish this up today because this is what I have on my to-do list to get out for you guys. So yeah, it's a beaver habitat. It's a beaver habitat that is 80% done, 90% done. You can see as they are morphed into one another, hanging out. Why are, why are you morphed into one? Oh, because you're going to get boxed. Great. Um, but anyway, oh, it's because I, uh, before stream, I wanted to remove the water to do like the rock work underneath, but I can't replace it back to where I, I need it to be. So that's why they got boxed. But look at these little guys hanging. Oh my Lord. They're still fast. <laughs> they still go from zero to 60 and, and half a second. Okie dokie. But yeah, so I want to finish this up. I want to add, um, rocks and detailing all to the bottom. Let's hit pause again. I need to finish up in here because I have this new little... 
enrichment item, but I want to put rocks all on this wall. I got to fill in uh, the roof wall over there is not finished. A um, little bit of a backstage. We're not going to do too much with that. That's more just implied. Um, but yeah, this is the viewing area for the little backstage area. And then I want to add some like grasses and such over here um, to give it a little more detail. So we don't, we don't got too much to do. But this is what I wanted to do today. They got a little dam over here. Maybe add some VFX to that because I haven't um, as of yet, but they have a little dam. They have little stick piles all over the place. Um, yeah, very happy with this one, but uh, yeah, I needed to, I needed to add, needed to add some details straight into the water. That's right. <laughs> That's where they want to be. So if we go to nature, as soon as I click all the wrong buttons first, and find the, you know what, do I want to add these? I don't, I really honestly never use these too much, but it, mm, we'll see. We'll come back to that. I don't really use those too much, so we'll have to, we'll have to see. What about these ones? Because these are the ones with the pink flowers. I kind of like these ones a little better, to be honest. Hopefully your beaver enclosure inspires me. Beavers are difficult for me. Are they? Well, I do hope I inspire you. Um... Honestly, anything with like underwater viewing and whatnot is a little difficult for me. Um, I don't know, just because I think water is difficult to deal with. <laughs> um, I do want to make some of those grasses like we did with the moose habitat too, which is why I'm kind of putting all these over here because we're going to kind of compile them together and, uh, and make a little grass little, little grasses. Hey, leader, how are you? I just saw your... Uh, giraffe fences, so well done. So well done. I saw them on Twitter. I love them. Um, and I'm definitely going to use them slash copy them because they're, they're like perfect. They're perfect backstage giraffe fences. I think they're fantastic. So beavers are actually one of the most dangerous animals in North America because if they bite your legs, they could have you fall like a tree. Ah. <laughs> uh. How fast do you have to be to outrun a beaver, though? I mean, these beavers, you kind of have to be a superhero, but like normal, non, you know, superhero beavers. How fast do you have to be to outrun them? <laughs> yeah, no problem, leader. I, you've been doing great backstage stuff. It's, I don't have the patience to uh, to put into that kind of detail. I mean, I I was super inspired by your canopies, your, your sunshades, these thingies. And so I spent the time and made one of these because you hadn't put them on the workshop yet. And uh, that's about it. That's all I have in me. That was that was my patience for the uh, the next like ten years, because that <laughs> it took me forever dealing with those font pieces. Uh, my goodness, I don't think I'll do that again. Too much work, just too much. I'm gonna add some of these in, and you know what? What I thought was cool is that um, Frontier actually used some of this kind of stuff in a screenshot I thought with a with a seal um or a sea lion rather and I thought that was pretty cool that they were using like their own their own plants kind of thing as uh, doubling them up and, and moving them around like this I thought that was pretty cool Actually, I'm gonna make this one go that way a little bit and up we'll make a make a plant and then we'll kind of duplicate this all over I just don't want it to be don't want it to be straight up. Give it a little bit of, little bit of wonk, I guess. <laughs> I love pretending that there's backstage, but when it comes to making it, best to leave that uh, to the imagination. I agree, Leaf. I kind of put a door on it and tell people that's backstage. <laughs> uh, now that they're on the workshop, you don't need to deal with them long any longer. Absolutely, and I won't. <laughs> I won't. Next time I need a sunshade that's not the shape of the ones I made, I'm going straight to your workshop. I actually already. Pretty sure I already subscribed to them. Um, yeah, here they are. Ta-da! This set, if you guys haven't done it already, fantastic set. It's super, super well done. Super, super well done. And speaking of, I need to, well, not really speaking of, it just kind of popped into my mind. I need to do that. I need to start recording. Um, I got myself a stream deck for no reason at all, other than I wanted to make my life a little easier. But I haven't set it up yet. It's sitting here staring at me all blank. Um, and I need to set it up so that I can start my recording with like the a little button, right? I'm going to put these all over here and then put them in a group so that I can... Did they add more of these? I f 
feel... I feel like we didn't have this many of them before. Am I wrong? It's little things like that that make it past me that, like... Shouldn't make it past me, but they do. Peacocks? What about peacocks? Am I making kelp? Yes, I am. I guess you can call it that. Just underwater foliage and stuff. I want this one. Underwater foliage. I like this song. This is a happy song. Is this part of the plant? It is. Okay. <sighs> Agree. I always only do pretend backstage. Yes. I've done a couple. I mean, like I said, if you have the time and the patience for it, it, it definitely worth it because it always ends up looking great and it adds such a nice touch to your builds but patience not not my thing not my thing let's go up this way i don't want to make it too tall because you can see that's actually taller than the that's taller than the water so that's probably about as tall as i want to make it so we'll do that one I'll move you over there, and then we'll start with this one over here, and we'll do another one. Um, actually, what if... Does that look... Eh. I don't want it to look super tiled, and that looks too tiled to me. If I do, like, that kind of thing. Perfect. You still need to do a backstage in Pine Mountain Sanctuary. N never! <laughs> I'm avoiding it like the plague. <laughs> Can you tell? The last habitat I did was 100% like nature-esque with like no buildings at all. Just just rocks and trees. <laughs> uh, you guys have out backstaged me and uh, I can't do any better. So why try? You and Zoof, man. Actually, let's keep that one short. I like that one. Move that over there. Put you down. We use that one all over the place. Um, what if we make a couple little singles? I think that's a good idea. What if we take this? What do you think of Jurassic World Evolution 2? I am very excited for it. And if you haven't caught it on the channel, I was lucky enough to play Chaos Theory early. Um, so there's a bit of gameplay in there. Although I will admit, I wish, I really wish, and I mean, I guess this is always the case. You're always going to think like, I wish I would have done this. But I do. I wish I would have spent a little more time looking at like some of the dinosaur animations and such. Um, and less time, like I was so narrow-minded in the sense that I really just wanted to um I really wanted to like do what the game was asking me to so I was focused on on doing like the objectives and stuff and I feel like I should have I should have like you know people put dinosaurs together and let them eat each other and stuff like that I should have done more of that but that's okay I was stressed I only had like an hour to play the game and so I wanted to make sure I found I found everything and, and did all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we have our plants. Now let's go to rocks. I'm so excited about that game. I know. Me too. I like the management style. So for those of you wondering, um, you will absolutely love Jurassic World Evolution 2 if you are looking for a management game. If you're looking for Planet Zoo with dinosaurs, that is not it. That is not it. And you're going to be very disappointed. Um, but I don't think that's a bad thing that it's not Planet Zoo with dinosaurs. Because that's not the game it's meant to be. Um, it's it's meant to be management. It's meant to, to not be, you know, building and detailing and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I, I like it. I think in comparison to the first one, if you played the first one, it definitely has way more... Um, things to do whereas and I think I mentioned this in that video I made um I found myself in the first one kind of waiting a lot like okay this is all I can do I need to wait to um get more money I need to wait for a dinosaur to incubate I need to wait for something to happen so that I could do more um and at least in chaos theory that I played um I didn't find myself waiting quite as often because there was kind of always something kind of always something to do. Um, and I liked that, obviously. I, I, I liked that it was a little bit more, the management was a little bit more in depth, a little bit more complicated and detailed. So that was really nice. 
<sighs> what do you think of Aquarium Designer? I'm thinking of seeing if I could use that game for billboards and Planet Zoo. Oh, actually, that's a really good idea, Leith. Um, I liked Aquarium Designer. Um, I had fun playing it. It's not a game that I'm going to go back to and play for hours and hours. I said that in the video, too. Um, but it's nice for, like, a little relaxing, you know, relaxing little game, right? Um, but it's not something I'm going to sink hours and hours and hours into. But I love the graphics. The graphics look really good. Um... I want them and maybe they will. Maybe they're going to add more, but I feel like it was also just a quick game where I was kind of I was kind of done unlocking everything and doing everything fairly quickly, which is why I say, you know, I'm not going to sink hours and hours into the game. Um, but maybe they'll add like more fish and more more scenery stuff. It, they definitely left it open for more like DLC and stuff like that, but I don't I don't know if they have plans like that at all. Um, the publisher actually commented on my video, which was very nice. Helped some people with some questions, uh, that they had about the game. So I thought that was cool. I always like interaction from developers slash publishers and stuff like that. I think it shows, I, sh I think it shows like an investment in their game, right? And they want people to enjoy it. They want people to get their answers and stuff like that. I think that's really nice. Anyway, Savannah, what's your opinion? on Frontier's choices for each Planet Zoo pack, species-wise. I've been happy with them. Um, I've been happy with them. You know, I'm just sure there's animals that I wish to see in the game, but at the end of the day, it's not my game. It's not my choice. So, I don't know. I, I like what they've put in the game so far. I like the North America pack. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with the animals they chose. I think with so many animals in the world, there is always going to be an animal they didn't choose that I would have liked to see in the game always but that's just because there's like millions of species in the world and um, they're not gonna get them all uh, it's not possible so I'm happy I'm happy with kind of like the the classics they picked for for the North America pack if that makes sense I hope I answered your question <laughs> hey Amber how are you thanks for stopping by hope you're having a good morning I was just amazed uh, that they had scaling. Yeah, the scaling was pretty cool. Some of the pieces I wish would have scaled a little bit uh, bigger slash smaller. Some of them I felt like, oh man, this is perfect, but you're not big enough or not small enough or whatever the case is. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, excuse me. Uno momento. I'm going to blow my nose. <laughs> Hold on one sec. Try not to be all sniffly in the mic for you guys. I just have a bit of allergies is all. Um, uh, how many subs are you away from 10,000? We're about 100 away and I'm so nervous. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice or not, but I was looking at it um, yesterday and the closer we get, uh, the more kind of anxious I get for it. And, and not because, I don't know, not because I'm afraid to show off my face. I guess show off is the wrong word that I don't like the sound of that. Uh, not, not because I'm afraid to show you my face. Um, for those of you that don't know, I, I do media for work all the time. I'm on the news all the time. Um, I talk in front of like massive groups of people all the time. And so like, it's not a stage fright thing. It's honestly just because I'm, I'm not a, showboaty person in the sense of like, I'm not like, uh, you know, look at me and, and stuff like that. And so I guess what I'm trying to say is like, I, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't normally use like, you know, me, like my face and stuff like that as an, an, is an incentive for people to like subscribe or to do stuff for me, you know, that kind of thing. So I kind of honestly, in the back of my mind, I'm like, I hope people are still going to be happy with the stream. I don't know. I don't want to like let people down or something. Uh, when I turn on my webcam and they're like, oh, 
oh, that's your face? You know, I don't know. Like, I know that's not going to be the case. And I know that's a, a pretty ridiculous thing to worry about because you guys are going to be excited regardless. Um, but that's just kind of like the more I think about it, I'm like, oh, man, I've been like hyping this up so much because that's that's what you do, right? You use that uh, use that to kind of get people excited. Um, but yeah, I, I hope it's I hope it's worth it, <laughs> I guess. Um, but we'll see. So I'm, I'm anticipating actually you guys have been like to say phenomenal is an understatement. You guys have been fantastic. And in the month of October already, and October's not even done yet, we've gotten 730 new subscribers. I, uh, I checked it last night, um, while I was setting up the stream. So just in one month, we have over 700 new viewers and subscribers so i just i don't know what to say to that that is so many people <laughs> it's so many people and so many people in such a short amount of time you guys have just like killed it you've blown it out of the water like i just can't i can't thank you enough so so we're getting there and uh and yeah i'll i'll turn that webcam on in fact actually if you guys want to see i already have it uh i already have it set up see that little box ta-da that's where my face will be Voila! <laughs> I just have to, you know, take the the cap off the camera. I had to double check and make sure the cap was on my camera. Wouldn't that be funny? Accidental face reveal. <laughs> but no, I'm a better streamer than that. I have control of my equipment. So anyway. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Rihanna. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I'm just not a... Um, I'm not a like, I don't know. I, I like don't, I wear like t-shirts and jeans every day. I don't wear makeup. I don't, you know, like I'm just, I work with animals to be honest. And when I started working with animals, I stopped caring because animals, like not that I, I'm not like a frumpy, like I shower and I'm clean. This is a weird conversation that's taken an odd turn, but you know what I mean? Like I'm not, I'm not a disgusting human. I just don't, I don't like, I don't like put a lot of energy and uh, weight into looks. Uh, in myself, in people, in anything like that. So, I don't know. That's just who I am, though. I don't really care all that much about fancy clothes or makeup or hair. And, and ugh, too much time. Waste of time, in my opinion. Waste of money, too. For, for me. I mean, f for people that work in, like, because don't get me wrong. When I worked in retail, um, it used to take me, like, an hour and 15 minutes to get ready for work. Because I would sit there and think about what I wore and... Um, makeup and hair and all that kind of stuff because you know in retail I had to I had to kind of sell what we were selling so if I kind of didn't look dressed up and done up uh just didn't fit the fit the job but like I said now that I work with animals um I don't really care <laughs> I don't care at all good morning Heather glad you can make it how was breakfast with your dad I hope you had a good time I'm excited because Matt and I have, um, we still have all the camping food because we bought as if we were going to eat breakfast uh, this morning. So I'm going to go make uh, a very good camping breakfast <laughs> when I'm done with this. But anyway, on today's live stream, we're placing rocks and discussing personal hygiene. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> good morning, Shiris, by the way. What an awesome live stream. Always quality content for you guys, right? I try. Whoa, excuse me. I try. Oops, I want to duplicate that, not just place it because I need multiples. But look at that. Look at how good that looks with this little grasses. I love it. I got to give credit to Drew, though. He's the first one that did this that I saw because I am I know other creators have done it. Uh, but I saw Drew do this and now I'm obsessed with anything uh, anything like North America ish that needs this kind of like meadowy grass look. I love it. I love it. But like, yeah, we put that back there. Look at little patch of just random, random bushes, a very good breakfast. That's awesome. Awesome to hear. I rarely do more than braid my hair. Yeah. See, and my hair lives in a ponytail most often. Um, especially when I'm going to work because, uh, it gets in my way. <laughs> so it constantly, it just lives, lives in a ponytail. And I try really hard to take it down only because I break it with the, you know, the, um, what are they called? 
what are they called? Like ponytail holders? No, there's a different word for them. And now I'm completely blanking. Um, but yeah, no, definitely. Uh, my hair just lives, just lives in the ponytail. There, I think that looks good. I think that looks very good. Highest level of quality. That's right. Always, always, always. Now, going in here, did I? I did not already. But we're going to need these rocks because I love that these match like perfectly, right? And I believe I have a little blank spot back here. Yes. That way I left. So what I did is when I built this building, I left this little like alcove thing. So I didn't have to worry about the rocks being like perfectly flat up and like sticking out the outside wall. So we're going to have to deal with working inside this building for just a little bit. Oops, sorry. Hit the mic. Hey, hey, Matthew G. Thank you so much. Welcome to the banana bunch. Enjoy your emojis. I will get you added to the uh, beginning screen. I actually have a couple new members that I didn't put on there for this morning only because I wasn't planning on streaming today and I was a little bit behind and you know, blah, 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 all the excuses, but uh, I'll get you put on there. Thank you so much, Matthew. Thank you for watching. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream enough uh, to, to support me that way. That's fantastic. I am, um, I'm also working on new emojis. I'm not working on them myself, but I think I've found an artist that I want to reach out to, um, to make us some, I think. Okay. So that's going to be close, but I think a little more brown, no matching colors is a pain. Maybe like that. There we go. That's. I mean, that's kind of as close as I'm going to get it. Somebody else might be able to do better, but that is, that is close as I'm going to get it there. So align to surface. Look at all the bananas in the chat. It's such a silly thing. I'm so glad somebody like embraced that. It wasn't me because I was all hesitant on the whole banana situation. Um, but so glad that we, we just kind of went with it because it's great. It rhymes with my name. It's perfect. Bananas are an easy like emoji thing to make. So that's, <laughs> so that's good. Um, put that there, make sure that we're not sticking. Oh, wow. We're sticking way through, way through. We don't want that. Bring you down a little bit. Perfect. And we'll do more of those. Uh, what do you think will be the next DLC? I have no idea. I actually kind of, you know, I know everybody, as soon as it kind of comes out, everybody's like, what'll be the next? And I don't know, I'm still playing with the North America pack. <laughs> I'm still having fun with this one. So I don't know. Um, I, I hope for birds. Um, I really hope for birds because I think that would be a fantastic DLC. Uh, birds are some of my favorite animals, not only just animal wise, but like to work with. Um, and so I really hope we see, we see birds. It also just will add, you know, a, a whole new mechanic to everything because we'll get height and, and stuff like that with birds being able to fly. Excuse me, please stop doing that. Let's cover, I think we should cover the edge of this, but I don't want to cover it too much. But see, that's going to clip. I'm actually kind of okay with that part because I think it looks as though it's just a rock up against the building. So I think I'm okay with that. We'll put some plants outside, but then we'll take this and we'll lower it down. Fishies, please. Fish would be cool. I agree with that. Um, what should we do? Raise you up and this way. I think we can use this one to do some of the edges would be nice. Uh, but I think we're looking at like December um for the next one right that would be like three months away i think um be my birthday month so if we did birds for my birthday month i'd be one happy camper i doubt that'll happen but i would be one happy camper if that was the case uh ocean pack yeah an ocean pack would be cool Ocean pack would absolutely be cool, but there's also, I mean, there's a lot of games right now. I was actually just kind of overwhelming myself <laughs> thinking about all the games that I want to, I want to cover. Um, I actually just got my capture card, 
uh, it just arrived in the mail a couple days ago. And I'm going to set that up because on the 5th for the new Animal Crossing update, uh, we're going to stream some Animal Crossing. So mark your calendars now. I have Friday the 5th off of work and, uh, and we will be streaming. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, Animal Crossing is like if I had to have a list of like all time favorite games, uh, I absolutely, Animal Crossing would be on there. I've played it since it came out. Um, the GameCube was the first one and, and uh, played the crap out of that. So I'm very, very, very excited <laughs> for the update. So we'll be playing, playing some of that. Excited for. Cool, I like that. I like how that looks. That looks great. Doesn't beta release for Prehistoric Kingdom. Uh, yeah, that comes out in December. Um, Jurassic World Evolution is in November. Um, so we just, we got a lot. And then uh, like smaller titles, like Let's Build a Zoo, I think is also November 5th. Um, and I'm excited about that one. Just a fun, cute little game. Well, I'm going to readjust myself. I hurt my shoulder. I was just telling Drew a little bit about it, um, but I hurt my shoulder. So like moving around, <laughs> you know, living is kind of painful right now. These don't quite match the brambles, but I think if we kind of put them here and integrate them in, I think it'll be okay. Make it look like it's all part of it. I would love a marsupial pack. Give me wombats and tree kangaroos. You know what? Tree kangaroos would be awesome. They're such cool looking animals. I think that would be, that definitely would be really cool. Really cool. No, we're not at 9.9 .9 subs. Are we really? There's no way. Hold on. <coughs> this is me checking. <laughs> Please hold. No way. How did... Oh, that's right. Okay, because it can't... Okay, it's okay. I knew that. I knew that. I've just, I haven't said it as 9.9. .9. Oh gosh. I haven't said it. That sounds so much closer for some reason. Yeah, we're at 9,912. So we need about, what is that? 85-ish? I know it's not 85, but ish. That's what we need. We need just about 100. Yeah, for some reason, seeing it typed out like that as 9.9 .9 seemed so much closer than seeing it on uh, seeing it on my screen. Uh-oh, where's my mouse? Hello? What happened to my mouse? Hold on one sec. Okay, we're back. My mouse, like, froze for a second. Hey, Snow Peaks, welcome back. Welcome back. Birch is what I want. Not in that though, in this. Uh, is this one gonna be too big? No, I think that's okay. There we go. Some little sticks too would be good. Yeah, we're getting so close. You guys are, like I said, you're killing it in October, man. Um, but yeah, back to like new little games. Uh, Let's Build a Zoo is coming. So we'll do a little little Let's Play series on that just because I think it's it's one of the cutest games I've seen. Um, I'm really excited to play and, and kind of get into it more so than just the little demo first look that we did. Um, I reached out to the devs about, you know, having their support and covering it, but never heard back. So that's kind of a bummer, but that's okay. Um, there was something else too. I thought there was something else I was interested in. Maybe it was just that. It just it just seems like a lot. <laughs> it seems like a lot to cover, especially because you guys have to remember that this is, you know, not my full-time job. This is my hobby. Uh, so it is it does keep me quite busy. Quite busy, but that's okay. I love it. If I didn't love it, I wouldn't do it. So put all that back there. Bring this out and we'll kind of cover this whole thing in dirt, I think. I think, cause then we'll, we'll do some planting on the inside too, I think is nice. Um, but just up to the edge here, like that. I'm not really gonna worry too much about it uh, going through the other side, like I said, the backstage area, cause I'm not too concerned about that. Whoa, some of these need to be moved because that Z fighting is going to 
not make me happy. <laughs> so we need to fix, fix some of that right away. Like so. I hope for some whale sharks, dolphins, manta ray, beluga, sea otter, octopus, and some fish. That's a huge wish list. But I think those animals would be cool too. <laughs> Definitely hit the subscribe button to follow Savannah. Thank you so much, Heather. I, again, appreciate it. 10,000 just seems like such a big number. I don't know. There's something like... Validating is the wrong word. Um, you know, the, the term like small creator gets thrown around all the time. And for some reason to me, it just, it feels like breaking the 10,000 bumper is kind of like a, a step up from that. I still, I think will always kind of consider myself a small creator. Um, but that's just kind of why it's, it's like the first huge milestone, right? Like the first one is a thousand because then... You know, you get fun stuff like being able to monetize everything and all that kind of stuff. Um, but 10,000 is a, a big one. 10,000 is a big one. So, yeah, it'll be the, it'll be really cool to hit it. I, I keep thinking about like where I'll be when I realize that we've hit 10,000. <laughs> and I honestly don't know what my reaction will be. Um, I really, I really don't. So we'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. What animal do you desperately want to see in Planet Zoo? I would love the capybara. I would love capybara too. Um, what animal would I desperately like to see? You know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to think about it. Um, Cause I don't have any really like desperate, like wish list animals, I guess. Um, I haven't even built for all of the animals that were in the base game yet. Uh, so I have to do that. <laughs> I have to do that first too. You for sure deserve 100,000 subscribers. Thank you. I appreciate that. Your guys' support really is awesome. It really is awesome. I know creators say it up and down, left and right all the time, but I mean it. It quite literally would not have a channel without ya. Hey, hey, Crazy Matthew Vlogs. Thank you for the sub, as we're just talking about that. I appreciate you and welcome. And Teddy, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate you. Really, really appreciate that. The support is phenomenal. Oh my goodness gracious. Hello, Ted. Thank you. I appreciate that. Guys are going a bit crazy with the uh, the subs. Uh, not that, please. Can I not get this rock? Thanks. That's what I want. Make sure you guys are the same color so it looks nice. There we go. Perfect. Porcupine would be awesome, Brittany. Hey, thanks for the sub. It's Cameron and Matthew Garside. Hello. Thank you very, very much. My goodness, thank you for the sub, bro twins. Are these all coming in at once or is this actually uh, people hitting the subscribe button like real time or is it just like delayed? You guys have <laughs> you guys have hit it a while ago, but it's just now coming through. Either way, really appreciate it. That's awesome. Can one of these fit in here? Oh, no, <laughs> that's a little big. Me? Nah, that's too big. That's too big. Let's look and see. Something a little smaller. Oh, you know what? This looks like it matches the that a little bit better. Put a little bit of this back there. Um, Capybara would be cohabitate, cohabitate bonuses for all other animals. Maybe. Do they get along with all other animals? Whoops. I think they'd just be cool because they're cool animals. They're just funny looking. I think that's why people like them, right? Because they're just kind of funny looking animals. Um, I know, racing towards 10K today. It's making me very, very nervous. I, I kind of don't want to hit it on stream, which would be awesome. Uh, I kind of don't, I kind of don't want to uh, have it have it on stream because I don't I don't know what I would do. 
I don't really know what my reaction would be. So, we'll see. Kind of starting to wake up now. I know I probably still sound tired, so apologies if I do, but I, uh, I still, I still am very tired, but I feel like I'm waking up just a little bit. You guys are doing a good job at getting me up. Cool. I think I want to leave, I want to leave a lot of that blank in there because that's just obviously like their sleeping area. I wonder, can I go to habitat if we sink some of this bedding in there? Uh, thank you so much for the sub. Uh, Lee ran, Lee ran, Pratt, is that how you say it? I appreciate you. Um, oh, you know what? We could probably just put a little bit of this for some details so that they sleep in there. I think that works. There we go. So they got some hay. This is sleep in there. Got their little water thing. I like that. That's a nice little indoor thing. Indoor area. I think that looks good. I think that looks good. You should do a 24 hour Planet Zoo live stream once you hit 10K. <laughs> I don't think I would be entertaining after like maybe the third hour I could make it. Um, but after that, I don't think I would be entertaining at all. <laughs> I think it would just be me like sitting there. Uh, happy 9.9K, thank you very much. Which animals place on top of your wish list for Planet Zoo? See, I, again, I, I don't know. I don't know what it would be. I don't know what it would be. Um, let's do a little bit more around the outside, I think. Adding, adding a bit more, but I don't want to overpower, overpower everything. But I do want uh, some trees kind of around scattered. That way it looks like it fits into the zoo. It's not just kind of plopped here. One up there would be nice. A little bit bigger of a tree, I think. This one up here like that. I like that. Bring it a little closer to the path so it's not hanging off the cliff. There we go. And I think we need, I think we need some more back here as like a backdrop. I'd, f <laughs> I'd fall asleep at the computer. Yeah, that would be me too. I'd definitely fall asleep at the computer. Would not make for fun content at all. At all, at all, at all, at all. But anyway, talking about something else, <laughs> how is your guys' weekend going? I know it's Sunday, so is anybody going back to work tomorrow? Do you guys got, got more than just tomorrow off? I go back to work tomorrow, and um, next weekend, right? Next weekend? Yeah, next weekend's Halloween, right? Yeah. Next weekend, um, I, will, I will try to stream on the 30th. Now, the reason that I say try is because I'm going to a wedding on the 29th. Um, and I do not know how tired slash potentially hungover I will be on the 30th and getting my butt up to stream may potentially not be plausible. <laughs> so tentatively, tentatively t uh, plan on the 30th. Uh, but the 31st, I know for sure I won't be able to um, because I have to work. I have to work. Let's put that there, I think, for a little bit more detail. Do I like that one better? No. Um, that one... I know realistically they would just kind of like chew these down, but I like how they look. So we're gonna put them there because I think they look good. <laughs> and that is what we're going with. Um, I think if I put maybe some of these back here, that could be a good little backdrop area like that. I like that. Where's the, is it the Ponderosa one? Yeah, the one that's got red bark in it. I like this one a lot too. So we'll put this one back over here, just in a group of three. And maybe this one here would be good. It's half term next week, so you have a week uh, off work. That's fantastic. I wish I had a week off of work. 
uh, a whole week would be awesome. The next week I have off from work would actually be for Christmas. I'm really excited. I'm going to Boston. I have family back that lives a little bit outside of Boston. They're about an hour away. Um, so that's, that's where I'm going for Christmas. And I'm really, really excited. Really, really excited. October has gone by so fast. It really has. It really has gone by super fast. Um, let me grab, I need some fencing stuff. And I'm wondering if one that I made for the North America stuff will fit. Let's see. I don't even remember really what I made. This one might work actually. If I take this one and bring it over here and I'm going to sink it way down because I want it to be a low fence. Um, maybe like this, but down a little bit more. I think that could look nice, maybe. Let's do a couple more of it and just see, because this is kind of a, a tighter curve on there. So it may not, may not fit our, um, our path is what I'm trying to say. Like that, oops, this one. Hey, Basic Builder, how are you? Welcome on in, I hope you're having a great morning. I think you're a little bit ahead of me, so maybe early afternoon, late morning. <laughs> Hope you're having a good day, nonetheless. Nonetheless. Do we like that? I don't know. I don't know if I like that or not. Let's see. What if... What if we change the color to, like, a lighter... Ooh, I like that better. Already, I like that better. I don't I don't think the dark wood kind of matches what we're going for but my question being uh, does this style match what we're going for like that I guess it's okay and then if we get maybe a little bit of bushes or some greenery right here to kind of hide this brown I think would be good um, but what is the question? Maybe just the grass. Is that what it's called? Grass from the Africa pack? Oh, we have this stuff. I totally forgot about that stuff that we can use in the water. Uh, apparently it's not called grass. That would make way too- oh yes it is. I was like, that would make way too much sense <laughs> if it was just called grass. Um, but if we kind of do this kind of thing, I don't- I don't, I'm not sold yet. We're just testing. We're just testing to see how this would look. Just so that that brown is kind of, yeah. I mean, I think that looks okay. I think that looks okay. Um, I'm back from doing my school project, but hey, Savannah and chat. Hey, Drew, welcome back. You're going to Dubai for Christmas. Matthew, that is a really cool, uh, that's a really cool Christmas vacation destination. <laughs> that's really cool. I would love to go somewhere out of the country. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm super excited. These guests are in my way. Get out. Get out. Get out, get out, get out. Get out. Go away. It's closed. Leave. Beavers are gone. Why are they all pooling in this one little area? Hey, zoo is closed. Get. <laughs> Go away. I need to be able to see the ground. Yeah, my cat is watching your stream with me. Hi, kitty. <laughs> Kit Kat, that's really cute. Really cute. My cats, my cats don't actually really watch TV. Uh, Nalu does, my little husky. Um, she watches TV. She's funny. She like gets excited about things on the screen and totally fixates. Uh, and watches things happen. I think it's really cute. My cats don't care. <laughs> My cats are always just kind of sleeping. Always just kind of sleeping. Uh, thanks for the sub, Brian. Welcome. Hope you're enjoying. Is this your first time here? I don't even... I mean, some of these people don't even have to be in chat. They could just be watching some video. Don't have to be in chat at all. Um, oh, did I accidentally add those to the group? Apparently I did. Well, let's fix that. 
and get all of these out of the group. I know there's still some in there. I missed it. Uh, finally got time or finally get free time now that my marching band uh, season is over. That's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, the busy time of year for me at work um, is this time of year. So unfortunately, I kind of mentioned to Silver Fox and Heather a little bit ago, uh, my schedule is not freeing up um, in the sense of like, I'm going to have random weekends that I'm working and stuff like that, uh, basically until the end of the year, which is a little bit unfortunate, um, but nothing I can really do about it. So yeah, <laughs> so we're just gonna make it work. Cause yeah, there isn't really anything I can do about it. Unfortunately, that's just kind of what I'm dealing with at work in the situation uh, that we're in. So I will do my very best to kind of have streams as hopefully as um, consistently as possible. But again, we'll just, we'll have to play it by ear sometimes, which is all I can do. Bring this out so that we can see that. Great. And then if we get in here, where's this pole? There it is. Bring this one over to here so that we kind of have it. There we go. So that it's matching. Get out of that, get out of that. Cool. Okay. Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. That definitely adds, adds to it, right? Perfect. It's crazy how all those little reads make a huge difference in the build. Absolutely. Just the little, little details, right? Make a huge difference. Um, speaking of, if we go to education, let's grab, I'm going to stop using this one because I've been told uh, this is sandbox. So it really doesn't matter, but I've been told that this one is bugged. Um, in our uh, franchise zoo, in Tolly Zoo, we've been really struggling with that. Um, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to replace them all with that, with the, with these just the normal screen ones. So if I put you on there, and then you over here, little beaver, beaver education on the uh, on the glass. I think are these upside down? Or are they right side up? Um, let's find wide. Oh wait, no, not my personal ones. I need wide and I need beaver. American beaver. Is that what it is? Yeah. American. Where the heck? Am I missing it? American bison. Or is it just beaver? It's not American beaver. Am I missing it? American bullfrog, American bison, American alligator. And it's not there. And beaver. Beaver would be up here because this is B E B beaver. Why is it not there? Where's the beaver? I remember one time the TV uh, I was on The Sims 4. I was making a cat and my real life cat was staring at it. I knew that she... Uh, knew what it was. She hissed at it all. <laughs> she didn't like it too much. Why do we, why? We can't search either. I need beaver. North American beaver. See? Dumb. <laughs> Dumb. There we go. Perfect. North American beaver. Thank you. Specifically not South American beaver, but North American beaver. I don't even know if there is a South American beaver. I went way too far. North American beaver. Perfect. There we go. Great. Uh, hey, Doodle Sims. How are you doing? Hope you're having a great day. Perfect. I think, uh, I think that is pretty much done. Let's duplicate one of these and bring it over to here. Cause we, oh, we need to do the fence. Whoops. We need to do the fence in front of this one too. Let's put this right here. Here, no, maybe we should put it on the center here, like this, and maybe slant it up just a little bit, like that. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. That looks like a like a zoo situation. Um, actually, just kidding, because 
we're gonna need to raise this up if we're gonna do the fence. So we'll do the fence and then we'll lower that down to the right, the right width. But let's go grab, let's go grab this fence and bring it over here. Um, the barrier is really annoying. <laughs> the fact that it's all white and highlighted like that. Um, let's lower this down to, I think about there as the little double barrier situation. Bring this, we can always straighten it all when we get the whole thing done. But bring it all the way up against the rock, I think. Great, perfect. Uh, I think you Nexus mods, what? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Wait, why are there bananas next to like everyone's chat? So the bananas are next to people that are part of the banana bunch or the budget bananas, which just means they've joined the channel and are supporting a little bit more with a monthly subscription fee. That's all that is. So all those people with bananas um, are just our members. And depending on what little emoji they have next to their name depends on how long they've been part of the, uh, the banana bunch or the budget bananas because you start off with little banana pieces and then you get up to uh, the entire banana bunch. So like Heather has the last one. She has the banana bunch because she's been a member for that long. Perfect. Just like that. Great. And then we can lower this down. Whoops. Lower this down so that it meets. In fact, actually, we might even be able to just put it on this fence. Why are we struggling so much to stay in the center? Thank you. Like so. Like so. Great. Great. There we go. We still need a little bit of plants, I think, for that one, too. So let's go grab the grass. This little grass right here. Bring this over. A little bit of detail. <laughs> We're all bananas here. That's right. <laughs> That's right. The fruit and the crazy. <laughs> the fruit and the crazy, I guess. It's funny. Everybody assumes now. Well, okay. So I shouldn't say everybody. That's an exaggeration. But I've had people assume like, oh, is is your chat named uh, the Banana Bunch because bananas are your favorite fruit? <laughs> I'm like, no, they're not my favorite fruit. In fact, I mean, I like bananas, but they're they're definitely not my favorite. Um, it's it's literally just because it rhymes with Savannah, and it's one of the only things that rhymes with Savannah. Not much else rhymes with my name at all. Um, but that's it. That's the only reason. Just for rhyming sake. Get these rocks down here and kind of help hide, help hide it a little bit. Over here. Uh, how long have you been live so far? Uh, about an hour. About an hour. We're going to finish up here actually in just a couple minutes because we've, we've pretty much gotten this whole habitat Whole habitat done. This is really what I wanted to get done today was this habitat. Uh, and I did a pretty good job at it. <laughs> I was actually fairly productive. I wasn't sure how productive I was going to be because sometimes like, I know we added lots of rocks and stuff, but sometimes stuff like this where I had more of an idea than just placing rocks uh, is hard for me to do on stream, but I was pretty productive today. So that is quite nice. Now I just want to detail Detail some of the surrounding areas so that it doesn't look super blank. And I'm really excited for my breakfast this morning. Excuse me. Um, my breakfast this morning because I'm going to go make hash browns and eggs and we have sausage. Like I said at the beginning of stream, I was supposed to be camping this morning. So I'm going to have my camping breakfast here. Matt and I actually, um, because we were so bummed we had to come home, we, uh, we still roasted marshmallows last night. <laughs> I lit a candle and we very, very slowly roasted <laughs> the roasted marshmallows to have s'mores over a candle last night because uh, I refuse to lose out on some of my camping experience. So we did that. Um, birch, yes. Grab this one. Um, but yeah, we, like I said, we purchased the food. We did our shopping and purchased the food as if we were going to be camping today. So we still got to eat it. Um, now we just get to make it on a normal stove instead of uh, a camping stove. 
Um, this way. Uh, but going back earlier, we were talking about other games. Is anybody here going to be excited about Animal Crossing streams? I'm just curious. I'm going to do them regardless because I'm really excited for them. Uh, but just curious how much of how many of you guys rather uh, will hang out and uh, and watch. I've been refraining from going to my island so that I can do that on stream because my island, I'm sure, is like infested with weeds and it's got cockroaches in my house and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I haven't haven't gone back to my island yet because I want to wait and do that on stream. Um, but just curious to see how many of you guys uh, are excited. Savannah, you're amazing. You're so in. I so enjoy watching the video you made uh, with the wonderful delay designer. Thank you so much, Swifty. I enjoyed uh, making that too. It was fun. <laughs> Me, I will. Animal Crossing, you're so excited. Good. Uh, roasted marshmallows with a candle lighters yesterday. Yes. Oh, you roasted them with uh, candle lighters. Oh, there you go. You don't even have to miss camping. You can just do it. <laughs> Good. Glad I'm not alone. Um, Maybe this tree. Is this going to block some of my view, though? No, not really. Maybe bring it out a little bit. It doesn't cast too much shadow is what I'm afraid of. So maybe we put it over here a little bit more. Like that. Uh, no, I don't really like that. It blocks too much of my sun. We're going to have to do short stuff. Um, I would watch an Animal Crossing stream. Awesome. Okay, so it sounds like a few of you. If you're going to stream it when I'm not eating, like always, I'll be there. Zoof, you're so needy. <laughs> you're so needy. Whole world doesn't revolve around you, you know. <laughs> but I am, on that topic, trying to figure out different times that I could potentially stream it. Because Animal Crossing, obviously, if you're familiar with it, is one of those games where, like, time happens even if you're not playing. And um, so I kind of want to be able to stream it more than one day a week. Um, so I am debating getting up before work and streaming it. Um, I don't know if I'm crazy or what. I really don't know if that will work for me. Uh, but that's kind of what I'm debating because I'm trying to figure out how I can fit in more than just a weekend stream for it. But I haven't come up with a good solution yet. So I'll let you know if I do. <laughs> I'll let you know if I do come up with a good solution. All right, guys. I think, honestly, I think we're pretty much done here. I might add some more, maybe just mirroring these fences on this side here and some more um, plants and things. So let's just do that real quick. And I really think that might be it for this habitat. Let's flip this around so it's the right orientation. Um, Animal Crossing demands a lot. Yeah, the one, the video game actually that I've been kind of obsessed with recently is, is Stardew Valley. Um, I played that one a while ago. Uh, probably not when it first came out. But when I first found it, I, I played all the time and I was obsessed. But that's one where... Um, the time doesn't still pass when you're not playing. It only passes when you're playing. But Animal Crossing, like, you've got to check on it every day if you really want to get the most out of it. So, we'll see. Um, it's either that, like, stream it multiple times a week, um, or, like, make content out of it, make videos out of it. But I don't know... I don't know, because Animal Crossing, it takes... I, I think it would take a bit to make it actually entertaining. Like it's really quickly um, able to be boring in video content because a lot of it you're just kind of, you're kind of like doing and, and just kind of relaxing and whatnot. And on stream, it's no big deal because I can have conversations with you guys. You know, we can chat about food or your week or work or whatever. Um, on a video, I can't do that because I'm just, you know, I'm sitting in my room by myself talking to myself. Um, so I, I don't know, um, I don't know if I could make entertaining content out of it in video form, um, which is why I kind of really want to, I really want to stream it. 
really want to stream it. Let me take this actually, not all of it, over here. Um, and sink, whoa, not that far down in the ground. Bring this over, yeah, like that I think is good. So it's kind of going up the path a little bit. There we go, that looks good. That looks good, little beaver area. And then what I could actually do, well, I guess this is all backstage stuff, this whole little thing here. Hold on, let me stop recording. Sorry, I hit the mic again. Um, stop recording, great. Yeah, I think that's good. Cause this is all, like I said, this little path here is backstage, but it doesn't have to be. Like we could cut it off here, that could be backstage. We could branch off a path here, it could come down and connect here. That way it's like another loop um, and go, go around that way, I think. Uh, would be good. I mean, Animal Crossing has a lot of chores to do. Yeah, that's my point is like while we're doing chores and stuff, we can hang out and chat uh, and that's fun. But making a video out of that uh, is a bit difficult. Look at this chunky guy. <laughs> He's so plump. <laughs> Whoa, I was like, he's really fast, but that's because I had the time sped up. Why do you guys like like this little area right here? It's very weird. Can I follow you? You're up on the ground. Let's follow you for a minute. I'm going to chit chat with you guys while we hang out. And uh, I'm kind of done building. I know we've been streaming for an hour recently, but it's honestly just because I've been so busy. So I want to make sure I have time for other stuff. I actually want to put this together. Um speed build version and, and release the video hopefully tomorrow. Um, I want to record a couple more Jurassic World Evolution um, videos. They haven't been doing the best on the channel, but I'm determined. I want to finish the uh, the campaign before Jurassic World Evolution 2 comes out. So that means I got to get recording because we've got a couple more islands to beat. <laughs> uh, are you using GeForce Now uh, right now? GeForce Now right now. That's what I'm using to uh, record my screen because if I use my GeForce to record my screen, um, it doesn't, like the alerts that pop up don't get recorded. If I use OBS to record, it'll record those alerts. And then when we turn on the face cam, I have to use it because otherwise it'll record my face and you know, the little square will be down in the bottom and I don't want that for speed builds and things like that. So. Uh, oh my God, 10,000 incoming soon. I know, Zoof, we were talking about it earlier and it's making me nervous. <laughs> I'm trying to ignore it. Let me double check. Um, I'm trying to ignore it, but it's it's approaching whether I like it or not. Um, where do we go? Uh, yeah, wow, we've gotten uh, math in my head real quick. 14? 14 new subscribers this stream? Goodness gracious, you guys are determined. There's no deterring you now. <laughs> um, I just noticed you're nearly up to 1 million total YouTube views. That's something you can see? I didn't know you could see that. That's crazy. 1 million total views? That's insane. I had no idea that you could see that though. I don't know where to see that. Not a very good YouTuber if you haven't, haven't been able to tell. I kind of just make videos and, and put them up. Uh, so I don't think dinosaurs will be added to Planet Zoo, but what about uh, Cenozoic animals? Also, trying to finish the campaign too. Yeah, I don't think any like prehistoric or extinct animals will be added to Planet Zoo, which is fine with me. Wow, look at them all right here. God, they're so cute. They're so cute how they took their little feet. I love it. Ah, uh, <laughs> they're so cute. Anyway. Uh, getting like angry about how cute they are. They're so cute the way they swim <laughs> with these little feet. Oh my gosh. Anyway, uh, it's very useful for entertainment missions since one part needs a thousand guests and that can't be done. I think you're having a conversation without me. I don't know what that means. Tip by the way, you can actually do the Morta Science mission multiple times by canceling and reopen it and get six dips and two metris as well. I don't know what that means. Are you talking about Jurassic World Evolution? I have no idea what that means. Uh, back when North America and European beavers were thought to be one species, a bunch of North American beavers were released in Finland to boost the local population. Now they're considered an invasive species. Oh, that's really interesting. 
That's really interesting. Um, you're at 964,000 total views. That is incredible. You guys are awesome. I remember when I subscribed and you only had eight subscribers. Wow, Addison, you've been around for that long? That's incredible. That's incredible. To be honest, I prefer if there was no extinct animals in Planet Zoo. You know what? I agree, but I would love, like bold, underlined, italic, love if Planet Zoo would do, or I guess Frontier rather, if Frontier would do like Planet Extinction or Planet Dinosaurs or Planet, whatever the heck you want to call it. I would love that if they did basically Planet Zoo, but dinosaurs. I would be... I would be so excited. I'd be throwing my wallet at them, please. I don't even care. Don't give it to me for free. I will pay for it. <laughs> that would be that would be great. Uh, yes, I'm talking about Jurassic World Evolution and the science mission for Muerta. Oh, you just shortened the dinosaur names. Oh, okay. And you can cancel and start the mission to get a lot of them. Oh, interesting. Okay. Huh, cool. Also, moving on, I'm excited to see what that uh, 1 million part. And I do wish if we get the arches and some other animals. Ark. I don't know how to say that little word. I think that's a short name for a dinosaur, but I don't know how to say it. Um, <laughs> yeah, would buy. Absolutely, right? I, I would be so excited. I mean, Zoo Tycoon did Zoo Tycoon with dinosaurs. Or Zoo Tycoon 2 or whatever it was. Um... Yeah, I think they should. I think they absolutely should. Total, total market for it, I think. I think they can definitely do it, make it work, and make it actually, you know, profitable and whatnot. Because I think, well, but see, it doesn't have to be either or, Swifty. It doesn't have to be, uh, um, like, if they do Planet Dinosaurs, they don't do Planet Aquarium. I mean, they could do Planet Aquarium, too. I would love that as well. I would love that as well. Planet Aquarium would be fantastic. So... I would love it. But anyway, you guys, I am, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm really starving. Is this beaver a different color? Or is he just dry? I think he might be dry. Yeah, because now he looks the same. Anyway, I was kind of letting it play. I was hoping that they would have little babies because when I do the cinematics for this, uh, I want there to be little babies. I really like this little habitat. I hope you guys do too. I hope you guys do too. I kind of, I really like the, um, the little guest area, right? This little walk and then you go behind and be able to see them behind the scenes. I like it. These little chunkers swimming around. You ate a few hours ago. I woke up, I played Stardew Valley for about 45 minutes and then I jumped on here and, and streamed. So I've had coffee this morning, but I need to, uh, I need to go eat. Excuse me. I need to go eat some actual food. Ac actual food. Would be great. So eggs and hash browns and sausage. Very excited. And I have these little mini, um, like, taco, um, what are they called? Tortillas? Taco tortillas. So I'm going to make little mini breakfast tacos. I'm very excited because I don't have full-size tortillas, so I can't make a breakfast burrito. So I'm going to make breakfast tacos. <laughs> BBB. Beautiful beaver biome. I love it. I love it. So anyway, thank you guys so much. We'll zoom in on our little beaver friend. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. We're just Jesus beaver. Great. Good way to end the stream. Uh, walking on water and levitating like that. Fantastic. He was just that excited for the watermelon. He had to get over there. I actually haven't seen them eat this watermelon before. So that's very cute. Look at him use his little hands. His little feet is to eat the watermelon. I'm about to eat some leftover pasta. Uh, I've never seen a gaming beaver before. Uh, gaming beaver is an actual YouTube person. Awesome job on finishing the habitat. Lovely stream. Have a nice breakfast and everyone have a nice day. Crazy goat Gus, I don't think I saw you before. You must have been lurking. So <laughs> thanks for hanging out and watching the stream. The, um... What'd you call it? Engagement with the streams recently have been fantastic. You guys make this so much fun, which is why, despite how tired I was, I really wanted to still get up and stream for you guys, even if it is kind of half the time, so only for like an hour or so. 
Um, but you guys are fantastic. I love it. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to go eat some breakfast. Thank you guys all for watching. If you haven't already, leaving a like on the stream really, really does help me out. Uh, and subscribing, of course, because we are very, very close to that 10,000 subscribers. Have a wonderful Sunday. Have a wonderful week. I'll get a couple videos out for you this week. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.